sometimes modding your server isn't necessarily about increasing gather rates or making your stack sizes taller. Sometimes it's just about quality of life. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a real quick and easy way to make your players' lives a little bit better by making their smelting process a little bit faster. And we're going to get started on that right now. As we all know, going around and collecting resources that later need to be smelted can be a little bit cumbersome when you know that you have to split your stacks inside your furnace, whether that be large or small, in order to get an efficient burn. But there has to be a better way. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you guys today is Furnace Splitter. So like always, we're gonna jump over to umod.org and we're gonna grab the plugin called Furnace Splitter by Ryan. And we're going to install that onto our test server and I'll show you guys exactly what that life is like. All right, so that's Furnace Splitter successfully installed onto our server. If you guys missed how I did that, I'll put a card in the top right hand corner that shows a little bit more detail about how I installed the plugin. So before we can make use of this plugin, we actually have to apply the permission to the group of players that we want to be able to use it. So we're just going to copy it from the UMOD website and we're going to go into our server and we're going to grant this permission to the group of players that we want to be able to use it. And in this case, we want everyone to use it. So we're gonna use the group called default. And the reason why I copied it earlier from the website, it just makes it so that I can post it right now. So the permission has been granted to the group called default. Now we can go into game and I'll show you the difference. All right, so if everything worked the way that it's supposed to, we can go into our furnace and we can just start dropping stuff in there and it automatically splits everything up evenly over the available slots and we can determine how many slots we want to use down here there are some defaults in here if this were a smaller furnace it wouldn't try to put 15 stacks in it would only try to put in three stacks so it's a fairly intuitive plugin and you can just go to town like that so I know in comparison, this is an incredibly short video, uh, but I was asked to do this. Somebody wanted a, a good explanation on how to install Furnace Splitter and how to use it. And uh, sometimes people miss on how to deal with permissions and stuff like that. So if you like the video, throw me the thumbs up, helps me out a lot. If you want to see future content just like this, make sure you subscribe and turn on notification bells. All right, that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one.